purchase camel with servlet program generally how servlet uh, will be created so we will write a one java servlet where it can be extends with http servlet and that servlet will configure in web.xml after deployment that servlet url can be accessed by the browser so uh, we'll try to achieve uh, uh, same thing using Apache Camel. So as of now, we are uh, executing our uh, Java, I mean Apache Camel program by app.java and where we are uh, loading context files uh, uh, based on that our execution done. So now I want to make uh, Apache Camel uh, with the web application. So this is obviously because uh, if I am trying to write a survey program it should be web application ok so so for a web application we have to load our apache context file right so I am loading a context file through context to config location generally how will be done how it will be done apache context configuration same thing I am loading so listener also required for that and uh, camel servlet servlet so how i'm creating servlet uh, in apache camel we have a class called camel http transport servlet so using that class i created one servlet class and that servlet class is configured for uh, camel url pattern so this is two points we have to keep in mind loading the apache context file using context to config location and created one servlet using uh, camel http transport servlet okay so uh, so we have in a mind like our url pattern should follow camel slash star okay then we'll see what is available in apache context file so before that you can see one more file is a log 4 j properties so uh, which it will be useful to uh, debug or see any errors in console so keep in mind log 4 j properties are very important for apache camel because if you don't add a log 4 j properties you cannot uh, see any loggers in console and you cannot able to identify problems or how execution is happening okay so other point our clue is our application context cam camel so uh, context in uh, uh, context configuration you can see our test servlet so i am creating one servlet uh, that is called a test servlet this is my execution of uh, test servlet so if you see right this total router is for test servlet implementation so what is my implementation uh, I have created a choice so first condition it is expecting header name okay for example name should be uh, available for uh, URL pattern something like test servlet uh, question mark name equal to foo if that is not available it will go to otherwise condition and it, uh, that message will be displayed in you uh, displayed in the uh, browser like add a name parameter to ui uh, uri example something like that if you pass name right this portion will be executed and hello name how are you so whatever name we have given right it will be appended and will be displayed so this is my test servlet execution okay so using web.xml we are creating only pattern where it can be executed by this servlet class so actually my servlet class implementation is this one so how the uh, servlet we are creating using router so there is no special class for this or uh, we will not have any servlet class so we are creating servlet using apache camel implementation okay okay so obviously we have seen camel and context file web.xml and log 4 j so one more point is our form.xml so camel core is important for basic structure and uh, uh, we are integrating to uh, spring right so camel spring is required and we are writing servlet program so camel servlet is required so for a context config location and all uh, web uh, spring web and all required these are the uh, basic uh, POM entries so other than these dependencies uh, I have added directly to a uh, class path 
if you see here uh, i mean some dependencies are uh, required for that and uh, spring expression avop some common http and uh, camel http if you face any problem while running right please try to add these jars in a class path of course because here i don't have a deployment tab for uh, uh, project so i'm adding directly all the jars to class path of uh, launch configuration okay so these are required so we'll try to start this uh, program and we'll see how this will be executed so this is my console program i, I was telling right if we don't have a context i mean if we don't have log4j we cannot see these details about our uh, application okay it is clearly telling uh, camel http is uh, transport servlet name is this one and context path is uh, this one so nothing but this is the project name okay we will try to execute our uh, program so this is my browser servlet project proj is my context path and other than that uh, what I have given for pip.xml is camel right so I will try to give a camel url slash and what is my servlet name test servlet so I want to make sure I want to make you understand very clearly so that's why I'm forming Oh, add a name parameter to UI, example name equal to four. So, where this message is coming from, we have seen just now, but I want to show you. So, we are not passing name parameter, so that's why it is coming to otherwise block and it is displaying this. Okay, if it pass name parameter, name equal to Java village. Okay. Oh, hello Java Village, how are you? So this is our survey program with Apache Camel. I hope you understand.